Hey guys, this is Cameron coming at you with a special life update video. And I know a lot of you have questions pertaining to the Mississippi State ID pick that was shared a few days ago. And I just wanted to offer some insights and clarification, some backstory. Um, before I forget, that post was meant to be a teaser from the very beginning. And I've had this particular vid in mind for the past couple months. It's just been on the back burner. As a former sports editor, I learned to appreciate the teaser, and so I will often apply it uh, through social media. But uh, for some of you, this is what you were waiting for, and I just wanted to honor you guys by just going back in time a little bit. Uh, well, starting off with the present with uh, the big news of the year so far, and then providing the necessary context, um, because as you'll see, a lot has come full circle in the past couple months, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm being a little on the quiet side. I, I pardon the cap enthusiasm, as I do have two little ones asleep, and that's a rarity in this house, but uh, uh, we will carry on. Some of you might recall back in late March, uh, I intercepted my first tornado down in Russellville, Alabama, and that was a big deal for me. In the weeks following, you know, I still kind of was on this emotional high from the event, and I just got curious. You know, we all have those curious George moments when we're wondering, well, is there something here? Um, is, there some, is, there, is there a big picture that I'm not seeing connected to this? So I started some research online, uh, just kind of looking at different colleges and universities. What I was looking for, I didn't expect to find, uh, and that something was a program an online distance learning program for those in positions like me who wanted to uh, get certified as a meteorologist. Up until this year, kept striking out, not finding anything. Um, but finally, after going through Florida State and Penn State, Iowa State, just a lot of different states, um, I found something with Mississippi uh, in their BOMP program, which um, is designed for distant learners who are looking to get their bachelor's or master's in applied meteorology and operational broadcast or, uh, or a similar field. Um, so I was stunned. This was around the first week of April. I, I found something that I've been looking for for years and didn't exist 10, 11 years ago when I was a student at South Alabama who was working towards his uh, bachelor's in meteorology. I talked with Lisa about it and then also talked with the dean of the program and some advisors and you know I'm in a unique situation you know I'm, I'm a decade removed from my last meteorology course actually probably 11, 11 years now and uh, haven't been immersed in the calculus and the physics in a long time since the mid 2000s um, I have my undergrad in math from the university that I got in 2009 but hasn't really been applied in the uh, financial ministerial arenas that I've been employed in so after talking with the Dean um, it became clear that I didn't need to get an undergraduate degree. Uh, I needed to pursue a master's. Uh, some of you may know that if you pause a, an undergrad degree, you have five years to return to it before the, uh, the credits that you earn become void. And I don't know if that's true for every university, but it's, uh, I'm finding it true for, for several that I know. You hit the five-year mark, and uh, if you haven't picked back where you left off, you have to start over. Um, so that said, it didn't make sense to go back and connect 10 years with a time and finish the undergrad. Uh, there was really only one option for me, and that option uh, was to, and is, <laughs> to take a 404 course in the fall. Uh, and this course is called Synoptic Meteorology. If I would have stayed another year at South Alabama in 2008, I would have taken this course. It is a prerequisite to the master's program and I am currently enrolled to take synoptics starting in August, and then we'll go through December, like most fall semester courses. Uh, the key with the situation is that I gotta make a B or above. I can't just pass the course, I gotta make a specific grade or higher, and the situation is, for the most part, unprecedented. I mean, it's, I don't know anyone who's been in my shoes who paused on their undergrad meteorology degree um, only to come back over 10 years later and, and 
pick up where he left off. The plan is, uh, well, it's a win-win type of scenario where um, if I don't pass, well, then I can hang my hat and say at least I tried to go to my grave knowing I did everything I could to advance the ball down the field. Uh, but if I pass and it's an open door through an open door, then um, I'll start the master's program next spring and it'll be two years. I'm really believing that God has intentional purpose in this pursuit. And I'm very excited to see where this road goes. And you guys are now part of it now that you're aware of it. So um, I just wanna say thank you guys for your prayers and, and rooting for Liz and I. And you know, as I always say, when I sign off nowadays, I'll catch you on the fry. Peace.